It is time for Weather Word Wednesday, and today's word is Olympics. Meteorologist Jacob Morse explains. With the Olympics going on, I thought it would be interesting to compare our weather to France's weather. And we're at actually at a very similar latitude or distance from the equator between about 43 and 51 degrees north latitude for France and North Dakota falls into that same latitude as well. You can compare these latitude lines from Paris, which kind of falls right at about the U.S.-Canadian border, and transfer that over towards where France is on the map across the pond of the Atlantic Ocean. So Paris's coldest month is at about 46 degrees for an average high, 37 for an average low, whereas our coldest month in the winter is 23 for a high, 4 degrees for a low. So it gets a lot colder here. Paris has a much more temperate climate, also doesn't get quite as hot in the summertime. Main reason behind that is because of the ocean conveyor belts. The Gulf Stream comes from the western Atlantic towards the eastern Atlantic near France and Western Europe and that sea to heat transfer keeps especially the winters warmer there. It's a similar situation with the west coast of the United States. A bit more of a temperate climate. Temperatures are a bit more stable throughout the year because of the conveyor belts and the warmer waters in the eastern Pacific Ocean. So average daily maximum minimum temperatures for late July and early August. Now when the Olympics are going on in Paris and the other cities across France that are hosting soccer matches. In Paris it's 78 for an average high, 61 for an average low right now. That's comparable for North Dakota's average temperatures in mid-June, so earlier in the summer or early September, much later into the summer, getting into the fall months. For rainfall, July and August combined, we see about one to two inches in the southern tier of France, but in Paris, about four and a half inches of rain in those two months combined. It's a little bit wetter in Bismarck with our two wettest, wettest months of the year coming during the summertime. Now this year so far in France has featured below normal temperatures at the Paris airport. There's only been seven days with an 80 uh, degree high temperature and one day at 90 degrees plus and it's been wetter than normal this summer too with about two degrees above normal for precipitation. As we go through the Olympics typically Paris sees about an inch of rainfall that's similar for many of the other cities except down to the south and we'll see how weather impacts some of the outdoor Olympic events going forward. We've already seen impacts. The mm -hmm. opening, opening ceremony, ceremony. it was pouring oh, rain. Yeah. You could see everybody just uh, wet from that, right? Mm -hmm. And then um, the Seine River, all of that water went in there, dirtied that up a little bit, so they had mm -hmm. to cancel the triathlon. And then, of course, I heard something, too, about the marathon. They might have to make that sooner in the morning uh, because of triple, or not triple digit heat, 90 degree um, weather on Saturday, potentially. So it's hot yep. there. Not as uh, humid, that is for sure. Yeah. I know. But those surfers, though, they're in French Polynesia. They're <laughs> yeah, in Tahiti. They're like, I bring know. It on. Everyone's We're jealous. <laughs>